Welcome back to Somewhere with Sunny, the program where we read a really fun book and visit somewhere really neat in Sweetwater County. Today I'm going to read you guys a book called Please Don't Eat Me by Liz Climo. Hmm, we got a bunny and a bear and some pizza. What do you think is going to happen? Let's find out. Please Don't Eat Me, written by Liz Climo. Ooh. Ah, oh, nuts. Please don't eat me. But I'm so hungry. Okay, I'll order you a pizza. So can I have the last slice? Not unless you want me to eat you. <sighs> okay, Bear, I got you a pizza. You aren't going to eat me now, right? I don't know. It just doesn't feel like a meal without dessert. Okay, um, bye. Wait, I still need to eat you. My friends will make fun of me if I don't. Oh no, I am being eaten. What a bummer. Ouch. Okay, are we good now? Oh, those guys weren't my friends. Now I'm leaving. Can I have your foot first? I hear a rabbit's foot is lucky. Um, here you go. This is even luckier than a rabbit's foot. It's like way luckier. A rabbit's foot isn't even lucky. No way, not one bit. Okay, well, toodaloo. Wait, are you sure I shouldn't eat you? I mean, you did burrow through my lawn earlier. That was pretty rude. <sighs> For crying out loud. Do not burrow. This means you, bunnies. Okay, see ya. Wait. Fine. That's it. Just eat me already. I don't want to eat you. I like you. Are you kidding? Then why did you put me through all of that? I didn't want you to leave. I like hanging out with you. I don't have many friends. And besides, didn't we have fun? Hmm. Yeah, I suppose we did. So, what should we do now? Well, I am starting to get a little hungry. Ah, <sighs> oh, nuts. So what did everyone think? Was it a good book? Did you like the way it ended? I like that these two had a disagreement, but then they came to a compromise where everybody was happy at the end and then they got to be friends. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? Where do you think we could go in Sweetwater County where we could talk to someone who could help us with disagreements sometimes? Hmm. Let's find out. Welcome back to Somewhere with Sunny. I don't know if you can see on the wall behind me, do you see all these diplomas and awards? We're here with Miss Tammy Harris. She is an attorney here in Rock Springs. So Miss Tammy, thank you for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. Now, Miss Tammy's gonna tell us a little bit about what it means to be an attorney, but look at all the cool stuff she's done back here. We'll have to have her explain some of those to us too. So Miss Tammy, can you tell us a little bit about what it is that you do? I, I can. I do a lot of different things, but some of my favorite things to do as an attorney is to help people resolve their differences. So if they have arguments or they have disagreements, one of the things I do is help them find some middle ground and work to fix their problems together. That's a pretty cool thing to do. Do you guys ever have problems with that? Do you have friends or brothers or sisters maybe that you fight with sometimes? Miss Tammy could probably help you out. All right, Miss Tammy, so we're going to get to the hard-hitting questions that okay. kids in Rock Springs would like to know. What did you want to be when you grew up? Believe it or not, I wanted to be a teacher when I grew up. A teacher? Oh my goodness. How did you end up with law instead of teaching? You know, when I was going to college, uh, to school to become a teacher, I just wasn't a very good fit for me, and somebody said that I should maybe go think about going to law school and being a lawyer. So that's what I did. And, and it fit. <laughs> You've got to take advice wherever it comes. That's right. 
All right, do you have a favorite animal, Miss Tammy? I absolutely love horses. Ooh. Did you love horses when you were a little girl too, or I just now? did. I loved horses growing up. We had a Shetland pony when I was a kid. Fun. I grew up riding horses. I don't have horses now because I don't have time to spend with the horses, but I love horses. Very cool. All right. Do you have a favorite kid's book from when you were little? Maybe not from when I was little, but from when I used to read to my son when he was little. Mm -hmm. I loved reading Clifford the Big Red Dog. Clifford, we've got his books at the library, don't we, boys and girls? He's a pretty popular one even still. So, we said that Miss Tammy is a lawyer. She's an attorney. How long does it take you to become an attorney? It took seven years of college to become an attorney. That's a lot of school. That's after all 12 years of regular school, too. Yes. Yeah. Was it worth it, Miss Tammy? It was absolutely worth it. Love that. All right. So this is the hardest question we've got. It's the one everybody wants to know. Do you have any tips or tricks or pieces of advice for kids who are watching right now and think, hey, I want to grow up and help people resolve their differences? Um, you know, the big thing that I have is just work hard, find what works for you, and you can always help people resolve their differences even if you don't want to be a lawyer. Even if you don't want to go to school for seven extra years. Yes. But Miss Tammy thinks it's worth it. Yes. All right, well, Miss Tammy, thank you so much for hanging out with us for today. Well, thank you for having me. All right, boys and girls, same as always. We'll see you next week. Bye. Mm -hmm.